Hello, my name is Marilyn Zecker, and I'm coming to you from the Multisensory Training Institute of ASDEC in Rockville, Maryland. Today, we're going to explore some concepts and vocabulary related to fractions, and we're going to use manipulatives to clarify those concepts and illustrate the vocabulary. Today, we're going to be doing an activity that in our multisensory math classes and workshops we call Name That Quantity. It's one where we take a simple graphic organizer made with any word processing program and we ask the student to create his own concept sheet which illustrates the vocabulary that we're trying to teach. In this case, we're going to be talking about fractions, mixed numbers, and improper fractions. And we're going to ask the student to try to be able to name it without counting and to make the concept really clear. I'm going to begin by taking a foamy shape. These are sold at any craft store and I find that my middle school and my upper elementary students genuinely love using the sports balls. They're also a good round shape and easy to cut before you want to peel them and paste them. In this case, the first concept I'm going to go cover, let's start with a mixed number. A mixed number is all of a complete whole, whatever it is, and then a part of a whole. In this case, I'm going to have one and one half. I could also illustrate something that's going to equal that later on. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to take another shape like this one, a baseball in blue. I'm going to cut it into halves, but this time I'm going to create more than enough pieces to make a hole. In this case, I'm going to have many halves. I peel them, put them down, and I'm going to ask the student to tell me how many I have. In this case, I'm going to create six halves. The student is then going to say, how many halves do I have? I have six. That's the fraction as shown. But can I see another way to name that total quantity? How could I name that quantity in the fewest pieces possible? Well, I can actually see that the simplified form of this fraction is going to be three holes. So thereby, having the student create his own sheet he can begin to see the relationship between mixed numbers and improper fractions. In this case, I'm going to illustrate the concept of the fraction itself. I'm going to make it into three-fourths. The nice thing about the foamy shapes is that you can reposition them. So in this case, I have three-fourths. So we've illustrated a mixed number, an improper fraction, and a fraction. Some of them can be simplified, some of them can't. In this case, it's already named in the fewest pieces possible, the mixed number, one and one half. As written, we have six halves simplified to three wholes, and in this case, three-fourths, which cannot be simplified. Finally, if you're a teacher, and you have a rather large class and don't want to go to the expense of the foamy shapes, consider going to an office supply store or an online vendor of office supplies and picking up these circular stickers because the same concepts can be illustrated with stickers that you would illustrate with the foamy shapes. I simply take one and I can create my foam shapes, but this time simply with the stickers. By putting it down, I can show an improper fraction. I can show a mixed number. I can actually show just a fraction itself. So having students illustrate their own fraction concept cards helps them to understand the vocabulary and be able to use it more efficiently when it's represented by numbers. This moves toward the representational level. At ASDEC in our program, we advocate 
a concrete to representational to abstract approach. In this case, it is the foam shape that is the, the concrete level where we're actually illustrating with something the child can hold. A pictorial level would be the next level up and finally using only numbers. So that's all for today from the multi-sensory math program here at ASDEC in Rockville. We are a nonprofit training center where we train teachers, tutors, and we certify academic language therapists to work with students who have language-based learning deficits. But multi-sensory math is something which is wonderful because it's appropriate for all students. It is just essential for some. Here at ASDEC, we advocate the concrete representational to abstract approach. It's an instructional sequence where students use concrete manipulatives to illustrate the math concepts. Then they go to the representational or pictorial level before moving on to abstract where they use only numbers. You can find us on the web at www.asdec.org. That's www.asdec.org. Look for us.